Okay, let me talk about the colors, the paints themselves. In traditional painting, you will see in self-portraits uh, by painters of the 1400s through maybe the 1700s and so, the palettes they used were quite small. They used very few colors. They probably had less colors than we have today. And they all used a mixture of uh, pigment and oil. Um, I myself generally make my own uh, paint from pigment and oil. I just take pigment and linseed oil and I combine it and I'm going to show you how to do that in a lesson here. Um, let me list the colors that I use and that I have out on my palette here. Pure pigment, I'm not brand loyal. You go to uh, any decent art supply store will have them or you could order it online. Here is cadmium yellow, here's burnt sienna, and I mix it with linseed oil. And that's how I make my paint. And I, I have white. I use lead white. It's the traditional white. It dries fast. This has a lot of body to it. The old masters used it. If you do want to sub substitute, your other options are a titanium white or a zinc white. Uh, titanium white covers very well, but it dries pretty slowly. Zinc white dries even slower and does not cover well. It's a very juicy white but it does not cover as well as lead and titanium. This white. is it. This is the general palette that I use always. I choose these colors so I can mix light and dark variations of all the colors that I need. I suggest you keep your palette simple as well and do not go off buying some extravagant colors. I mean, uh, there are many painters today who squeeze out uh, 25 colors or more uh, on their palette and the reason that they have, they have to do that is because they are painting directly. They're mixing the color right away so they try to make it easier on themselves. I think sometimes it's a little harder when you have too many options sometimes you get confused. But these are the colors that I use. I, I suggest that you copy them all and you use very similar ones for your own paintings especially following along with this training Program. Here's a tube that I bought, an empty tube, and put my own paint in. I labeled it Burnt Umber. So when I make my own pigments, I put it in a tube just like it looks exactly like the tubes that you see here. So if you want to get tube colors and don't want to bother making your own paint, you I would get the same colors that you see here that I went over. Uh, if there are any variations such as yellow ochre light or Naples yellow light as opposed to Naples yellow medium or sometimes it's cadmium red light, cadmium red medium, I would buy the light version always like I have Naples yellow light or cadmium red light. Okay, and that covers the colors that you will need.